on the screen. The skaters are backstage looking at the computer screens to see what levels that they've gotten on their elements. Well, Polina 15, Dimitri 20. Coached by Ludmila, Nikolai, and Vasily Velikov. 119.76 personal best week two in Linz, Austria. They earned that. The skating final competitors here in Vancouver for the Junior Grand Prix final. They're skating their free program. Trying to keep on the podium to Exotica. Journey to the heart by Rene Dupre. I love that moment when she's hanging upside down in celebration. We saw that a few times on the Junior Grand Prix circuit as well. And yeah, the old upside down reverse fist pump. <laughs> He's excited. They, they probably felt a lot of pressure entering this free skate. Um, we and saw some today, elements looking a little bit off in the air, but they managed to come out and land them and skate a clean performance. Yeah, they're currently in first place after the short program. Don't know that they'll hang on to that. What do you think? I think it's going to be extremely close. We see some pretty strong levels. 
but do they ever fight too, especially on those jumps? Yeah, they're not gonna have the same GOE as uh, the team that's leading right now. Anastasia and Alexander, but I think it I think it's gonna be very close. They both attempted similar content with the triple sow. Half Euler triple sow. Euler is the new word for half loop this year. Um, we see that there's an under rotation on the Euler, but that's still got them over eight and a half points. Wow. That is a huge combination. We're seeing skaters at the junior and senior level really trying to push the envelope and maximize points in every area they possibly can. Well, they were certainly focused and determined, fighting for every point, didn't give up on anything. They, it wasn't easy. Sometimes you're right on top, but lost a couple points here and there. Here's the triple twist, level three. Man lowers his hand. Don't know if they went down low enough. High flying throws once again. She was nice Every and tight single team today landed gorgeous oh, throws. She was nice and tight on that one, but the second one, remember we looked at that. Yeah, she's a little bit open. You yeah. see this triple sow, Euler triple sow. She used that Euler to re-stabilize herself. Get some momentum to get the second triple sow, yeah. Yeah, it's entered as under-rotated, but again, still worth a lot oh, of points. still worth it. Here's the second triple throw. This was not as good. A little bit more open in the air, bent with the legs, but hangs on. We saw her wild a little bit on that throw triple sow in the short program. Quite possibly too big of a throw. It's something that they'll have to work on managing. Here's that five reverse lift. That's the most difficult lift takeoff that you'll see, the reverse lasso, worth the highest amount of points. Is the ladies going up backwards? Yes, and it's the hand hold of one hand underneath yeah. and one hand over top. Watch the fist pump. There it is. <laughs> we didn't get a chance to see the pair spin, but they've also got a V on their pair spin, which right. means that they did not do all three basic positions and hold them long enough. So they're going to lose a little bit of points there, and that really could be the difference between first and second. Well, this little one, she's full of fire. She always has a lot to say in the kiss and cry. I like her. Maybe her and I can analyze some skating together. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can tell you who the boss of that team is. 122.69 well, season best. That's second in the free program. With a total score of 189.5. I have a feeling she's not going to be happy to go no. into second place. No, she's not. 189.5 for the competition, and that puts her into second. You can see that expression. Darn it. Yeah, that's a one point. Machina and Kelly Mof of Russia. 